Hello everyone, Raza here. Building an Excel-like editable grid experience in Power Apps. Let me show you how we can do this in minutes using generative pages. Sort the grid, filter the grid, bulk update data, working with related tables, and so much more. So let's check this video out in action. I've built a solution called Task Manager to manage tasks that are created in my data source, in this case, Dataverse. My table structure is as follows. I have a task table that tracks details about a task. A task is related to a project. A task can be assigned to a user and a task can have multiple comments. So this is what my entity relationship diagram looks like in data workspace. I have an app, which is a model driven power app called Task Manager. This app has the standard Dataverse table, view and form experience for projects, tasks, and comments. If I play this app, this is my projects table. These are the tasks. And this is my commands table. The way I built this entire solution is by using plan designer. I simply described my business problem in natural language. I need a task management system. Plan designer generated the user requirements, the process diagrams suggested my data model and from the suggested technology i created the task manager model driven app my requirement is for my tasks page in my app i would like to make this an excel like grid experience how do we do this in a model driven app for that we have the new powerful gen pages experience in our model driven apps we have this new feature now called describe a page let's go ahead and do this here under add data i can attach an image this can act as a reference for the page generation agent so it can style and design your screen based on your needs in my case, I simply want an Excel like grid. I have to give it context of my tables. So let's first do that. I'll click on add table and it lists out all the tables that are a part of my solution. So I'll pick my project table, my task table, and my command table. And now in the description, in natural language, I will try and describe what I need. I need an Excel like editable grid experience, which allows users to add, edit, and delete data in task table. A task is related to a project, and a task can have many comments. Need option for user to add comments and show a comments thread. Let's see what Gen Pages can do for us. I'll click generate immediately the app agent springs into action the agent understands my intent summarizes the steps it's going to take and starts building out the react page for my model driven app the agent has full context of my data based upon the data sources that i added while describing the page the app agent has generated the page for me. Here is the preview of this page. Users can add tasks. Users can delete tasks. We can edit the items in the grid. A task is related to a project. It lists out all the projects. 
as the user makes updates, these updates are being saved in my backend tables. I also have this feature to see the commands. This is the running thread of commands. I can search for tasks. I can sort on any of the columns. I can also filter. So show me all the items where the status is in progress. Plus, I can manage columns. Which columns I would like to see in the grid. I can hide all, show all. Full flexibility has been created by the gen page. Now let's ask our agent to do more. I'm saying make header and footer dark green with white colors for text and icons. Also ensure status is color coded. I want some conditional formatting here. Let's see what the app agent does for us. Done. The agent has made the updates. My styling has changed. The status now has conditional formatting. Add a button on top left to toggle the grid from view mode to edit mode. When in edit mode and user makes updates, then add a save button on top for user to save all the updates in one go. When you switch to edit mode, every cell in every row becomes editable immediately, just like Excel. Once again, I'm simply prompting my app agent. And you can see how the agent summarizes my prompt and specifies the actions that it's going to take. If any of the actions that the agent has taken doesn't meet your expectations, you can always undo that step. You also have the option right at the top to start over from scratch for describing your page again. You have the option to describe multiple pages. The agent has made the updates. Here is that edit mode button. I select. Now the grid is editable. None of the changes will be saved until the user makes all the updates. And once ready, I can click on save. This will now save all the changes in one go. Once I'm done with my page, I can save and publish my updates to my application. On very similar lines, I had described to my agent to create an editable grid for my task table. Let's run the app and see it in action. Here is my model driven app that has the standard pages, but within this are my gen pages. Here is one version of that editable grid. I can view the commands history for that task. I can add commands. I can go to edit mode and I can start making changes. I can save all of these changes in one go. I can filter. So priority is any off, low and medium. So this will show me all the tasks where the priority is either low or medium. Due date is on or after 1st of July. And it's applied that filter. And now in this filtered state, I can go and edit the grid. Here's the other version that I built. Let's go in edit mode. Here, if you notice, it also gives the visual indicator to the user that all the controls are editable. You can see it even maintains the conditional formatting in edit experience because that's what I described to my page. Let's set this as complete. This one too. The hours, I can increase, decrease. I can describe validations to it. Here is the date picker. Save all changes. Let's go in view mode. Done. I can show, hide columns, adjust the grid based on my needs. 
Now only these columns are editable. And here is the running commands thread. So I was able to build these editable grid experiences in a matter of minutes with gen pages. Let's add another page and let's give it the context of tasks and projects. Build me a task management dashboard screen, make it look professional. I'll hit generate. The agent starts planning the structure of my page, starts sharing the summary of the steps that it's going to take based upon my natural language input and starts building out the React page. And just like that, my dashboard is ready. Total tasks, tasks in progress, high priority tasks, total projects. It's even built out visualizations for me. Tasks by status, tasks by priority. These are the list of upcoming tasks. Here is a summary of all my projects. I can keep describing the updates that I need to this page. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.